Hey guys, and welcome back to Sonic Unleashed. Last time we had met up with Tails, and we are on our and we were on our way to Spagonia to see the professor. Now we are at Spagonia, and we are now going to go to the professor's library to see the professor. So let's go. Hopecker Robots, <laughs> one of the most famous lines in the Sonic series ever. It is Eggman, who you think? You would rather be dead than... Yeah. I, I'm sure Eggman is eating him. Even he's not that cool. Okay. <laughs> Let's go and find the professor. <laughs> Even he's not that cruel. This guy flipping broke the world apart into seven different pieces. Anyway, uh, you go over here, there's a moon metal. And if you break this vase, there's another moon metal. Yay! Alright, so, um, can't go there yet. So we actually have to go to Missouri now, because that's where the professor is. And we have to talk to someone in this hub world who knows about Missouri. You don't have to talk to everyone in there. Do not worry. Don't worry, that would be ridiculous. But you just have to talk to a certain person that knows about Missouri, and this is that lady. I remember this because this is pretty much my, this is not my first recording session on this. So yeah, that's why I remember this. So we learned something about Missouri, and uh, we have to talk to Tails. Yeah, we learned something about Missouri. Yep, he's in Missouri. Next stop, Missouri, boy! Alright. And Missouri was actually a stage that was not in the Wii and PS2 version of this game. The only thing... Missouri was in the Wii and PS2 version. It just wasn't fully implemented into the game. What I mean by that is that you only got to fight the boss fight. In the Wii and PS2 version of this game, in Missouri, you only get to fight the boss fight. Yeah. Disappointing, I know. So, anyway, Sun Metal right there. We got both Sun Metals, and we are actually at level 2 Sun Metals. When we really don't need level 2 right now. But, hey, that means we're getting ahead. And I'd rather do that, especially in Sun Metals. Okay, there are two Moon Metals here. One right here. All right, in this in this part of the hub world, there are two moon metals here. One right here, and one. Oh, I thought I could grab onto that ledge from the, like that, but I guess not. All right, one right here and one behind this thing. Now, when you jump here, hold B, so that he can grab on that ledge, and then boom, get that moon metal. All right. So, Sun Metal's here, I'm not gonna get yet. I'm not gonna try and get yet until I get, until we have to do the day stage. So, just pull this crate over here, or a block, and then pull, pull that over here. And then we can go straight to the night stage. And also, if I have enough time, I'm on, I'm, I'm gonna do the day stage in this part, if I have enough time. And I believe I know where every sun metal is in this level. Alright, now there are two sun metals, I think, in this part of the level. Uh, 
um, you have to, before I defeat those enemies, I'll show you. There's one... Oh, it's a record. No, there's one Sun Metal in this part of the level. I'm, a, I'm not defeating those enemies yet because... Um, I don't want to defeat those enemies, try to get the medals, and then they end up respawning. That's right, because if you stay here for too long, those enemies will respawn after you defeat them. It can be a great opportunity for you to get a lot of experience. Egg Scrambler! Did I just get hurt while I was doing the Egg Scrambler? You guys get on my nerves! You guys really do get on my nerves. Alright, so let's... Oh! Is there something metal back there? No. I thought there was two sun metals. I think I know what the other one is. Uh, I have one sun metal so far. If more, when more enemies respawn, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna defeat them. You don't have to defeat them when. They, oh, duh, there is two sun metals. I knew it. So they respawn, but I'm not gonna defeat them. Okay. More enemies to defeat. You guys are going down. You hear me? Down. Down. All of you are going to go down. And you're not going to come back. You wanna know why? Because I'm not going to make... Because I'm going to... Um, Make you not come back. That didn't really make sense. That really didn't sound good. But whatever. I'm a break. Uh, I'm a break. I'm a break dance where all goof. Okay. Uh, sun medals. Most famous breakdancer ever, yeah! Alright, uh. Best breakdancer ever, Sonic is. Seriously, Sonic be breakdancing like crazy. Like in Sonic Generations, whenever you get an S rank, he be just. He be doing the most craziest breakdance moves. Oh, you have to use this. Okay, you have to use this, um, block to. Get up there to. You have to place that block right there, use it to, um, and so you can use it to get to that platform. But you don't have to do that because if you know how to do the Shoy Hogkin, which is YYA, YY, YYA, you can just get up there. <laughs> yeah, it's useful. Oh, there was a, there was a moon metal. Hold on, there was a moon metal here that I remember getting on my last recording session of this. Yep, up there. And if you go up here, there's a record and another switch. That's basically a shortcut, so you can open up that door you just seen so you won't have to pull that crate over there so you won't have to pull this uh, box over here because it's slow it's very very slow oh my goodness okay and back here, Sun Metal. 
You enemies are gonna die tonight. Uh huh. You're 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 not you're you're not tough at all. Like like no. All right, I'll throw you. Thank you, tough. You just got killed in three hits. That's pitiful. That's just pitiful. Just pitiful. I think I have the wear clap. Yep. Wear clap. I didn't get this move on the previous part, but I did um, replay a level and got my experience up and got the wear clap. So, yeah. So, how do you do the wear clap? Well. I ain't mean to go there. Oh, hook attacks. Wear clap. X, 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 Y, Y. And the egg scrambler is X, X, Y, Y, Y. And double axle combo is Y, 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 X, X. And donkey kick combo is Y, Y, X, X, X. Okay, donkey kick combo. Y, Y. Oh. Yeah, that was the donkey kick combo. This is the this is the double axle combo. Y Y Y Y Y Y Y Y X X X X X X Yeah The Werehog is not playing up in this piece. Back up. Whoop. Yeah, those flowers, they're like they can be a pain. Not a pain to kill, but they can they can get annoying. So I recommend you kill them first. I didn't do that, but I recommend you guys do that so you won't get irritated. They're very, very easy to kill, but they're because they get killed in like two to three hits. But they're, um, but they can be a bit of a pain if you don't kill them. They can be annoying. Anyway, yeah, throw that enemy to hit that button and that platform will start moving. Okay. Here. Defeat these two robots. Those aren't the only ones, though. Those aren't the only enemies. To knock their shields off, do a heart attack whenever they're using their shields. I interrupt you guys asleep with an important announcement. You're all gonna die! Thank you for listening to my announcement, and I hope you have a great day. See you guys later. Yep. Or see you guys never. Because you're all gonna die! Oh wait, you did die. <laughs> now, what you're originally gonna have to do is that you're gonna have to pull that crate. Well, yeah, you can just get on top of those platforms. But originally, I think you... But originally, what you, what you had to do is that... You had to pull that crate. I'll just show you guys. Because I feel like I need to explain it. So you have to hit this switch and then that platform will come up. Alright, what you have to you have to pull that crate on top of this platform so that you can get up there. But so you can get on top of those platforms. But you can actually jump right here. Press B real quick and take a nice shortcut. And there's a sun metal right here. 
Alright, so I believe if you go up here, there is actually another metal. No, there isn't. But if you go up right here, there's another metal. I believe there's a moon metal down there. I'm gonna check. No, there isn't. Okay. Take these enemies, press X, throw their behinds. And pick up this one if you want that other one to, if you want that other platform to move and throw its behind. And if you go up here, you will find that there is actually another ear flip. Not another flip, there's another moon metal. There you go. There was a moon metal up there that I missed. Wait. Okay. Last sun metal. Over here. I know where more sun metals are than moon metals. <laughs> because I actually have to... Because... Um, I actually had to backtrack before on this game when I had gotten to that level where you have to have 120 uh, sun medals to get there. Which is that level I told you about earlier. I will show you guys that level when we get to it. I'm not going to get that full restore until I defeat all you enemies. If I lose health. <laughs> yeah, and if I lose health. Okay, I lost some health. Just because I'm not killing the flowers first does not mean you guys have does not mean you guys have to not kill the flowers first. I really recommend you guys do that. If it's like if it's your first time playing and you're not that if and you're not, you know, that used to the game yet then yeah kill the flowers first because then you're gonna get annoying then you're gonna get annoyed um, okay so what we have to do here is that we have to pull this crate right here level that platform up so that we can pull that crate on this platform and take this switch move that platform on up and then okay without using that other crate over there I'm gonna see if I can use this short how I can to get up there oh crack Okay, let's try that again. Oh, I can. All right, then. Shortcuts. Wonderful shortcuts. And I'm jumping like crazy. Shortcuts. Wonderful shortcuts. And this is the last part of the level. We got to defeat a bunch of whole pack of robots. We gotta defeat a whole pack of robots. And the whole pack of robots. Stop using your shield. Okay, so I'm going to use my Unleashed when I'm almost done defeating these robots. Because there's gonna be multiple um, waves of enemies here. Mainly because this is the, the end of the level. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Multiple waves of enemies. By the way, if you want to get a lot of experience, the, play the Werehog levels over and over again and defeat as many enemies as you can because the Werehog levels is like a great opportunity for you. You get more, you get a lot more experience in Werehog levels than you do in day stages because you don't defeat many enemies in day stages because it's old, because, you know, the day stages is basically how a Sonic game should be. 
fast paced platforming and stuff, you know, just like how Sonic games are. The Werehog levels, while really do not feel like a Sonic game and aren't even a Sonic game, and are the Werehog levels are not really Sonic. Tell you the truth, that's my only problem with the Werehog levels is that they don't feel like they're a Sonic game. It's not really like Sonic. And I got an S rank, baby. And there's the achievement for getting an S rank in your first night stage. Creature of the Night. Huh. Creature of the Night. Shooting star combo, okay. Uh, strength leveled up. I'm gonna level up our health some more. Health leveled up. I'm putting a little bit more in combat. Alright. And... I'm going to be focusing on combat, strength, and life because, and a little bit on Unleashed, but shield, yeah, not at all. Because <laughs> shield, I don't even use. Quite the chef, Professor Pickle. I know I learned something here today. <laughs> I know, right, Chip? How'd he become a librarian? What brings you here? The menu is hardly worth the trip if you ask me. No, Professor. We came here to rescue you. That's right, we came to rescue you, dude. Quit worrying so much about the menu. Shit, if I was you, I'd be like, oh, yeah, thank you, Sonic and Tails, boy. Let me get the flip out of here. Yeah, man, we don't want his welcoming committee to come out and welcome us into death. And sure you can! You know what? Since Sonic just did that, that just reminded me of something. The Werehog versus Knuckles. Huh. You know, get, can we, when you think about it, because when, because Sonic's strength increases so much, you could just break, you just break metal like that with one punch. He should, he should, he should be able to beat Knuckles. <laughs> I would like to see that though, the Werehog versus Knuckles. Which is one reason why I would love to see um, Shadow and Knuckles in this game because I would love to see their reactions to Sonic being a werehog. Alright, so we have to go to each of the seven temples and each of the seven continents so that we can restore the planet. So that's basically the goal of this game. So, before we move on and do Missouri Day, yeah, that's right, Missouri has a day stage too. 
So anyway, before we move on and do Missouri Day, I'm going to do some metal collecting real quick. So if you go here, there's a sun metal right there. And one of these vases, one of these vases, um, break this one and there's a sun metal. And... The, and there's another one if you go over here and then go up here there's another sun metal and I don't remember where the last one is I do not remember where the last one is. I think it was in a. I think it was inside a barrel or something. Yeah, I think it was inside a barrel. Yeah, it was. All right, last some metal in here. So let's go ahead out of here. All right. So here's something new about this game as well. This is the world map, and Tails here is gonna teach us how to do it. I made you this world map. I thought it might come in handy. You can use the world map to travel to places you want to visit. When you decide when you decide you want to go somewhere else, use this screen. Here, let me give you a quick tutorial on how it works. First, pick your destination where we'll go with the potus for now. <laughs> Try pointing the cursor here, there, use the left stick to move it. So you use the left stick to move the cursor and put it on uh, whatever, wherever you want to go. And then if you want to go to that place, just press A. And you can also switch between day and night into different continents by holding the X button. So yeah, as you see the sun rotates around as you're holding the X button. And once the sun gets on top of a continent, gets over a continent, um, that continent will be changed to day. And once the sun gets off the continent, that continent will be changed to night. Yeah, so if you want to play a day stage, switch it to night. If you want to play a night, if you want to play a day stage, switch it to day. If you want to play a night stage, switch it to night. We ain't telling you nothing. We'll never talk to the bald fat guy. My mother told me not to talk to bald fat strangers. But he did say I could talk to super cool blue hedgehogs. Ignore it. Is everyone here all right? Yeah. We did fine. All right. So in this hub world, I am going to do more metal collecting. Don't worry, there's only two sun metals. Oh, moon metals, I mean. Okay, yeah, there's a moon metal right there, and there's a moon metal somewhere behind one of these houses. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, come on. Where is it? No matter, I know you're here somewhere. You can't hide what's inside. That probably didn't make any sense. 
Where is it? Good lord, I found it last time. Come on. There it is. Okay. Um, let's go to the second hub world. Alright, I'm going to now check to see how long I've been recording. This will determine whether I will do the day stage or not. Okay, I've been recording for about 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm not going to do the day stage. <laughs> so, um, I will see you guys later on part four where we will do the day stage of Missouri. So, stupid long werehog levels. Yeah, I wish they wasn't long either. Uh, yeah. Walking to me very slowly, ain't you? Alright, so, see you guys later.